He's a God who will never leave me. He is a God who will never leave us. A God who is everlasting. He speaks of the end holding the beginning. He is the beginner and the finisher, the author and the finisher of our faith. So I call upon you people to trust in this God. Plug into this faith. Trust in this God. He will never fail us. Praise be to God. Amen. So before I go to the word, I understand that you have been running the series on prayer. Ask your neighbor, are you understanding? I will expound a little bit on prayer because I know this is not the first time for you people to learn about prayer. I know that you are Christians. I know that you have been praying. I know that you are a serious prayer. Ask your neighbor, are you a serious prayer? Because in this world where we are living, we need serious people, serious men, serious ladies, serious people in life. So in everything that we do, we need to commit all our time. We need to invest completely in what we are doing because a time is coming. I always remind you that you people will never forever remain to be young. Youngness, it is for a season. A time is coming and you will grow old. Let not that time when you grow old start to regret what is this that I did when I was young. Ask your neighbor, what are you doing in this young age? What are you doing in this young age? Some two or three things that I need to mention here and then we continue with our series on prayer. Number one, it is uh, good to remind you that today it is the World Women's Day. Hey, are you sitting next to a lady? Uh, come on, can you appreciate that lady who is sitting next to you? Today it is the World Women's Day. Uh, let, let our ladies stand up. Let our ladies stand up, please. Uh, ladies who are in our feet, stand up. Come on. Ladies, can you shoot up on your feet? And uh, men, quickly, can you appreciate these people? These are great, great people. Great creation that God has given us to us. And we really appreciate you, ladies. That uh, God will continue to keep you and He will continue to be with you. May His face shine upon you. Let us be seated. Number two, it is good to remember that today in our, in our country, Kenya, we have a national event. Uh, one of uh, 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 the preacher of the day, he was held somewhere because, uh, the, the, because of the exercise. And uh, I need to still have organized this. These are men. A lady, the one who is in the lead, you know, the lead person is the first lady of this country in the Beyond Zero Marathon. And uh, ladies, you people, may God bless you. Another thing that we need to note is that uh, we are still in the next season. The good is a neighbor, Umeo, but I'm a Funga. I'm a Tunandalea Tukukura. You know, we go to Nandalea Tukukura, we are in the next season. Remind your neighbor, we are in the red season. season. These are the 40 days. And uh, finally, the climate scene will be during the Easter, the, the Easter celebrations when uh, our Lord Jesus, of whom we create the faith, of whom we you know we speak of we being Christians. Our Lord Jesus, the climate scene will be during the Easter holiday. Of course, there is the, the issue of uh, crucifixion, the death, and uh, finally the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So this is a period of transformation, a period full of uh, you know the humbleness and a period that we need to uh, to, to 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 stick and to it, and we need to move as we have been told. Truth, truth, seek us. May God bless you. Uh, come on, let's appreciate this life. The truth seek us. God bless you so much because of leading us the service of the day. And you know that uh, there is nothing that you go unrewarded when we serve the Lord. Praise be to God. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord when the time is there to serve the Lord. So I want us to share a prayer. And it's good always to remember even uh, our young people of whom have not yet got this revelation of uh, coming to the church. And I was going through the social media, I saw that there's some young people, in fact, the primary school children, who are caught uh, in the worship. Just the other day I saw a young man from Nigeria who is uh, marrying a young man from Kenya. Come on, did you see this? This is the one who has called a villain to us. And then the social media, sometimes I ask, why don't they come and, uh, you know, pick on what we are saying? You will never find me there in the social media. You know, come up with a post that he, 
ati ufanye baba pinguni umehubiriwa sana but you find them posting such kind of things a man from nigeria and a man from kenya and then the social media the, you know it's like the, the, the pointing time it is when these guys they are kissing each other and then you know in the social media that's the one for being so may god may god have mercy on us may god have mercy on us we are young let us take that youngness you know let it take you to the next level and let it uh, humble us let's pray father god we bow before thy presence this morning we thanksgiving for giving us an opportunity to come and share your word as i stand before you are people lord to proclaim your word lord in heaven how i pray that the holy spirit of god will speak through me and we will interpret your word to your people and as we come out of this house oh god we will come out blessed Jehovah dear father and transformed speak to us we are reasoning for this our prayer faith in the name of Jesus we will pray just and believe Amen. where we read our reading words in the book of Luke chapter number 11 and verses 1 I know that your people this has been uh, the song every day about the prayer and I praise the Lord for giving us such a strong theme about prayer because when we speak of prayer there is nothing that we will make in this life without the prayer Prayer is the way that we communicate with God. Prayer it is the so mean that we are being given by God so that we can be able to connect with him in the mighty name of Jesus. So our topic today as we continue the series I will tackle a little bit of it about the prayer and I know that God is going to bless us. The power of prayer. Tell your neighbor the power of prayer. The power of prayer. What is prayer? How do you pray? For those people who are taking some notes, it's good to take this in uh, in your back. Prayer is man exercising his legal authority on the earth to invoke heaven's influence on the planet. Praise be to God. Prayer is the man exercising his legal authority. Your legal authority is the kind that you are connecting with your maker. The maker who connect, the maker who made you, the maker who knows who have the blueprint of your life, the maker who constructed you, the maker who made you in your mother's womb. The time that you are exercising your legal authority on earth, praise be to God. So that when you connect the true prayer, you are influencing your world. You are influencing your position. You are influencing your world, your environment. This is what we are calling prayer. Prayer is engaging. Tell your neighbor, prayer is engaging. Prayer is engaging. Prayer is work. When we speak of prayer, it is engaging. It means that you should be there to connect. Prayer is work. Praise be to God. You can say that you are in prayer and you are not involving yourself in it. Prayer is commitment. Prayer it is giving out yourself to it so that we can receive what we want in the mighty name of Jesus. Our prayer life sometimes has become dry and sluggish. Can you ask your neighbor, are, are your prayers dry? My prayers dry. You know the those times that you just present a prayer? You can say, you may go to work You may go to city. I know I'm talking to Christians. I can see you don't want to look at me, you know, straight eyed. Kwa sababu labda maombi ambao unaomba bado unaona ina gonga kule chuo. Ni kama haiendi. Sometimes it has to be dry. Come on and the sluggish. But the my dear brothers and sisters, when you speak of prayer, prayer it is engaging. Prayer it is serious commitment. Prayer it is that time that you devote yourself to this God. My son said that time spent in prayer it is not time wasted but it is time invested. Come on, can I say this once again? Time spent in prayer it is not a time wasted otherwise it is time invested. You know I'm feeling as if I can uh, black this to your people. Time invested in a prayer it is a great investment. It is not wasting time. Sometimes we waste a lot of time when we are trying to peruse through the social media, when we are trying to go through some materials which are not helpful unto our lives. Ask your neighbor, do you engage in prayer? Do you engage in prayer? You know some of us when we, we, are, we are awakening at night, at around the one, at around the two. I know I'm speaking to somebody. Sazingina usigizi inafanya nini? Inapotea. 
Rather than going into prayer and engaging and reading the word of God, you find that Christians, this is the time. You find them producing through the social media. Facebook. Na hika kazi kupe unafanya ni ya ku like to what? Papepo. Imagine at two in the morning. You are not awake. You are awake. You are not asleep. And then, the most thing that you are doing, huko tu kwa Facebook, liking people. Na wekini hata huwajui. Come on. Na kuandika tu text message tu ingine tu logo hapo. Wekini tu huwajui. Unawambia tu, you look cute girl. Haka umjui. But you are not growing old. My friend, prayer it is dedicated. Spend your time in prayer. Spending time in prayer, it is no time wasted. Otherwise, it is time invested. Praise be to God. I need to hear good event there. It is time invested. In investing in prayer, as John Wesley once said, God does nothing but in answer to prayer. Imagine that when you influence the heavenly kingdom, you influence the heavenly kingdom through prayer. Otherwise, God will not do anything unless you recognize you are blessing and connect through prayer. Ah, praise be to God. It is the high time that we connect through prayer. Prayer is therefore not an option for mankind, but a necessity. Ah, can I say this once again? No, I'm feeling as if I can preach now. Prayer, it is not an option. Can you help me preach to your neighbor? Prayer is not an option. It is a necessity. You can't live without your prayer. Who is the coming of our army? Otherwise, who can attack Kuomba after the Maisha? If you are not a prayerful, there is no life. A prayer is a necessity. Prayer includes setting time and setting a place. Daniel is an example of this. Set some time for a prayer. Ask your neighbor, where where Kuomba is attacked? Kwa sababu wa Kristo wengine tunaomba tu wakati wa chakula ikikuliwa. Na mao pia chakula tunaomba dakika kidogo. Kidogo. Father in Jesus name kwanza tunakukushwa. Usiombe mao pingulevu wakati wa maombi. Na sio kuomba kwanza nikushukuru. Nikushukuru. So some of us when we we want to go to sleep. Some of us hata amen tunaisema asubuhi. Kwa sababu ulianza kwa maombi hapo tukapigaji Maombi imepotea. Unakumbuka asubuhi. Kai, dinaletia amen. Siku maliza amen. Prayer it calls for a serious commitment. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm talking from a point of information that when you engage in prayer, God will never leave you in the mighty name of Jesus. Set time for prayer. Set a place for prayer, my dear brothers and sisters. Kneel down before God. Commit yourself to Him. This is the sole means of communicating with your Creator. Praise be to God. We have been called to pray. Tell your neighbor, this is a duty. This is a duty. I believe this morning, you people, and I judge you through the name of Jesus that the prayer we have been called to pray. When you go to your Bible, the Bible speaks of if my people who are called by thy name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, my dear brothers, he will forgive our sins and heal our land. Praise be to God. This one is recorded in 2 Chronicles chapter number 7. That when my people will pray, we have been charged for this. We have been called for prayer. When we pray, my dear brothers and sisters, God is going to heal not only our families, but even our land. Praise be to God. Not only where we are coming from, but even the land. Then Jesus put his disciples in a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Praise be to God. I believe I'm talking to somebody who has given up in prayer this morning. That it is the high time that you pray and never give up. Tell your neighbor, never give up. You know you are making me to remember one of the well, one of the illustrations. Mwalimu uh, sijui social media, hii mambo ya media ilienda wapi? I have a small thing that I I recorded somewhere of a a bad. Sijui kama inaitwa clean ama inaitwa nani. 
alafu imeshika the flock na flock imeshikwa kwa mtomo na ikiwa kwa mtomo imekatalia hapo inasema si ndani never give up praise be to god never give up fighting in prayer If you are man and women of prayer, start with the prayer. God you never never at any time I shame you in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the praying in spirit in all occasions. Ombeni kwa roho katika kila wakati. And my dear brothers and sisters, let our prayers and requests be known unto God. Prayer it means everything in a Christian life. Prayer is the man greatest power put this in your bank. Prayer is the man greatest power. Praise be to God. I help me preach your neighbor. Prayer is the man's greatest power. Prayer is the man's greatest power. Imagine you are talking of connecting to the power, connecting and plugging in to the power source. And when you pray, pray to the power source, it is through prayer. Prayer is simple on the paper, but it requires much more commitment and sacrifice. Praise to be to God. Prayer, it is committing yourself and sacrificing. <laughs> na tumepiga makelele kwa sababu brada yako mdogo alikukulia breakfast ah let us desire to connect with the god through prayer prayer it is that time that you engage into a meaningful and fulfilling god's presence seeking his face a meaningful and a fulfilling process my dear brothers and sisters This is the time that you engage in that deep soaking in the mind of God. You know when you speak of soaking, ni kama mwenye tunaweka nguo kwa maji ambayo iko na omo iliyo na extra powerful. Praise be to God. Una unaweka nguo kwa omo na hiyo omo iko na extra powerful. Praise be to God. Let us desire to soak ourselves in the mind of God. And this is how we shall understand about the prayer. Prayer brings all the elements of spiritual discipline. Spiritual discipline together under God's big purpose and bring us to the place of being part of the God's united network. Praise be to God. How to network as Christians? It is through prayer. Remember, I have told you that we are in the Lent season. Today, it is the Women's Day. In the whole world, just the other day we had the world women's the world prayer day. On Friday we celebrated the same. My dear brothers, how to ignite the heavens? It is through prayer. Praise be to God. And that's why the disciples are telling Jesus, our Master, show us how to pray and how to pray to start to engage our Father who art in heaven. Praise be to God. That is how to engage about the kingdom and the kingdom of God. A guy by the name Pope Emeritus, he said, if the lands of prayer and the word of God do not nourish the bread of the spiritual life, we risk suffocating in the midst of the thousand daily cause or daily cares. Imagine, if you don't engage in prayer, you are just risking, you know, risking to suffocate your spiritual life. Let us pray that the Lord will open the eyes of the heart. We are praying for you. Ah, can you please that which I know your name? You must come and ask. You come and ask for me. For what is the bar? And if you are not happy, you are kicked, and you expect that you shall leave. So when we are speaking of prayer, it is a serious principle in the life of a Christian. Praise be to God. You must be serious. It is total commitment and it is a fulfilling process in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer is the bread of the soul and of life. Come on. Madoke tora, how to eat? Ikiwa hauko kama hombi. I believe I'm preaching a very hard stuff this morning. Praise be to God. 
You cannot live without prayer. You cannot live if you are not a prayerful. Prayer forms a spiritual gateway through which heaven comes to earth. And that's why Jesus, when he was teaching the disciples in the Lord's Prayer, he told them that he should pray saying like this, let the kingdom come and let the will of God be done. I think I can say this for more than one time. When Jesus was teaching the disciples, he told them that when you pray say this, can we share the Lord's Prayer? Our Father who art in heaven, Hello be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on this earth. Come on, there is no way the will of you be done if you have not ignited the kingdom. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My brother, there is nothing like igniting anything from heavens if the kingdom is not with us. You see a good amen. amen. To ignite the kingdom, to ignite the kingdom, it is through prayer. There is a lot in sacred places of God, but you have the responsibility to ignite that kingdom through prayer. Praise be to God. Never doubt the power of prayer. Ah, help me preach your neighbor. Never doubt the power of prayer. Never doubt the power of prayer. Power of prayer. Prayer is powerful. Prayer is a wonderful process. Prayer, it is the truth of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, prayers are transforming. Uh, can you keep that in your, in, your, in your notes? Prayer is transforming. Mahoya, Namashia Jagia, and I'm happy that because we belong to this church, that uh, one of the key pillars of this church, when we speak of a belief system, we say that this church. It is a church that believes in transformation. Praise be to God. This church believes in changing. It is a church that welcomes change. Because we know that if you don't change, otherwise change. You change. change. Tell your neighbor, take care of change. And be a man of transformation. You know, this is our, our tagline. From the gate as we enter this institution, there is a very big inscription there up that this is a spring of where told your neighbor do you know where you are standing on the ground that you are standing on they are the grounds that they are springs of transformation imagine you are at the spring can you tell your neighbor imagine you are at the springs of transformation they transform our lives so that we become more passionate and hungry for God presence. Through prayer, we pay more spiritual gifts and enter more into our personal calling and destiny, and we become more active and effective. Praise be to God. The way to become more active and effective, it is through prayer. Come on. We must be men and women of prayer. We must engage in prayer to bear fruits and the fruit you choose will last. My dear brothers, we must engage in the prayer. Five things. When you become active, for us to be effective, my dear personal prayer will transform our life. Come on, can you write that one somewhere? Personal prayer transforms our life. Mark my words. Personal prayer. We will transform our life. Family prayer. Family prayer. We will transform our families. Engage in prayer as a family. Ignite this prayer principle in your family and they will see the difference in Jesus' name. Ignite this principle in your personal prayer and you will be transformed in your life. Number three, church prayer transforms our church. Don't keep on making noise about what is happening in the church and get in prayer. Come on. Why keep on? You know, every time you are making noise of what is happening in your family, engage in your prayer. Number four, marketplace prayer 
transforms our workplace. The marketplace, prayer. This is where you spend your time. This is where you go every day. This is where you have your doors. Engage in the prayer. You will transform your workplace. Praise be to God. Number five, national prayer transforms our nation. National prayer will transform our nation. Ignorance to prayer accounts for reasoning like this. Listen to this carefully. Ignorance to prayer, they account for reasoning like this. Why should I pray when God knows everything? Why should I pray? And God knows everything. My friend, the Bible is very clear. Pray, knock, seek. This is the Bible. Some other people will say that uh, God does not change. He is not changing my life. Why do I need to pray? Come on, I'm coming today to tell you the secret. The secret is in prayer. If you want change, prayer. Plug into prayer. Plug into the power of prayer. My dear brothers and sisters, you have to develop a lifestyle of prayer. And to develop this, I want to speak of, as I bring this to an end, of some five points on how to develop a prayerful lifestyle. Tell your neighbor a prayerful lifestyle. To develop a prayerful lifestyle. Number one, you must develop intimacy with God. You must develop intimacy with God. What is the position of God in your life? How do you engage with Him? And to develop intimacy with God. Number one, you must be a person of the Word. Read the Word. Eat the Word. Live the Word. Walk the Word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise be to God. There is no shortcut. You have to eat the word if you are to live a prayerful lifestyle. You must eat the word. Mpaka ukule neno. Kula neno. Kula neno. Kula neno. Mpaka ukule neno. Say the shed you on how you will pray. Kuwa na mipaki hiyo misuri. Vienye utaenda mbele zake Bwana vienye utaoma wacha kuomba tu hivyo You know I heard a song just the other day I think it's a secular song Nisikia jamaa anaimba Godo Godania Godo Godania You know I don't know whether you have heard the song Have you heard the song Amtaisikia Ah I know you are pretending my friends I heard a song by Godo Godania Godo Godania That is not our life Godo Godania Godo Godania that is not our life. Tell your neighbor who sees the Ah, I Make a prayer list, my dear brother and sister. Make a prayer list and maintain a prayer journal. This is the seriousness of prayer. Jesus told the disciples that if you are to make it, pray like this. There is nothing like let your will be done if the kingdom is not with us. Be serious. Set a prayer journal. Put the records on what is it I've been trusting God for in my life. Number four, focus on what to pray and record. Evangelist Leo, and I talk about the video. You must set records, my brother. This your see your two, you find a man or two with you, and then you think that the life in prayer we are brakadabra. Akuna maisha ya braka dabra. You figure here at the sitatoka ju, kama zime katakatwa, zire to emesar, and the cage. Tell your neighbor and the cage. Yeah. In this life it is about engagement. Have a right view of God. Have a right view of God. We are living in a time that we are receiving orientations which are coming from everywhere in the world. I've just spoken about Casey here. I've just spoken about devil worship here. Recipientism in our secondary schools, in our higher institutions. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been called to prayer. Praise be to God. 
have the right view of God. God is omnipresent. God is an everlasting Father. God is omnipotent. God is a very powerful God. And remember, He is a jealousy God. He is a jealousy God. That if you design yourself in a way that will, you, you know, trigger His jealousy. My friend, be careful. He is a burning fire. Can I say this once again? Yes. God is a burning fire. Tell your neighbor he's a burning fire. Yeah, and we have evidences and the biblical recordings about God answering in flames of fire. Fire in the name of Jesus. May God have mercy on us. Learn the scriptures and pray with them. You cannot be able to, to go in prayer if you don't know the scripture. Run the scripture. It is a matter of investing time and involving yourself. Learn the scriptures. Get yourself a devotional that will provide a fee and a scripture for that day. Usikai tu hivo, kama mtu haere, unaereke ya wapu. We have the uversion.com. These guys will keep on sending us, you know, biblical. Yeah, biblical things, the new version, and the cage. Why plug yourself into some, you know, media sources that are not helpful to you? Plug into such a, you know, and you'll be receiving the biblical readings every day. Finally, meditate on the word of God and let the word of God speak to you. Praise be to God, like what we are doing this morning. Meditate in the word of God, and the word of God will speak to you. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been called for prayer. It is a duty that God is holding you responsible. You are the one to stand in position. That generation that you are seeing, and then you are making noise of it engage in prayer. That problem that you are seeing ahead in your family, with your cousins, and you are making noise, it is not the time to make noise. Otherwise, it is the time to engage in prayer. Apply the word of God to your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us have our feet for a brief moment of committing ourselves unto the Lord. And we tell God, God, show us how to pray. God lead us into the prayer life. May the spirit of prayer be upon us now. Continue with our life. That you will never live the life of prayer in the name of Jesus. Just go before God in one minute. Close your eyes and tell God that you want to engage in a prayer of life. You want God to invoke the spirit of prayer in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and just mama some words before you are maker. Mama some words before you are creator. Tell him God that you want to engage in prayer. Tell him God that you want to know the more about the sacred presence of God. Tell him that you want to engage in the prayer life. Tell God that you want the spirit and the fire of prayer to be upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. It's only through prayer that you get revelation. It is only through prayer that we shall get what God is speaking unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Father God, He knows your worries. If you are here and you want to give your life to Christ, God is calling. God is calling. He's saying that your life should not be the way that you are living. Only live in that frustrated life. Only live in that hopelessness. Why live in a life that you are not sure of? I'm introducing to you to God. And this God is an everlasting Father. He has the solution of your life. Lift up your hand quickly if you want to give your life to Christ. And you pray with Him. And God is going to save you in the mighty name of Jesus. Salvation is true. Salvation is the truth of God. Salvation is reality in the mighty name of Jesus. You are there, you are saying, Preacher, I have a big problem. I have an issue in my life. It has frustrated me. It has cornered me. The devil has pushed me to the corner. And I have no hope. Lift up your hand 
and you commit that need into this God. You are saying that I need a job. I need a, a, a partner in life. You are saying that God, you want God to open a door for you. Lift up your hand and you commit that need unto God. And God going to do something in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you for the faith of these dear ones who are lifting up their hands. The Bible says that Lord, the woman who had a bleeding for many years, Lord in heaven of blood, when she decided to make a step of faith, she received her healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Those hands which are lifted high unto you, O oh God, may you meet your people to the point of things. May they receive their portion of blessing. May they enjoy life. And may your peace be upon them, O oh God. May you come unto their needs, O oh God, and meet them, Jehovah, dear Father, for your glory. There are those who are with us and they are saying that, God, I'm sick. May you heal them. Because the through the strength of Jesus Christ, the Lord is here on Calvary, we receive our healing. May you heal them, God, for your glory. There are those who are frustrated, O oh God, and they have reached to a point of no return. Save them from this agony and the traumatizing times the Holy Spirit of they are going through. May you leave them once more. May you they enjoy a second chance in life for your glory and honor. Those that Lord have not given their life to Christ, may you ignite this blessing of salvation upon them, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, because you know us. I bless the youth church. I bless every one of us, O oh God. May we, Jehovah, dear Father, enjoy your peace. For this our humble prayer of faith, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit of God, we pray. Amen. Let us appreciate the Lord. <laughs>